what is going on guys so obviously my name is luke and welcome back to my channel so the other day i put a poll up on my instagram if you're not already following me obviously i'll uh, put it there so definitely have a, a look at that one because i'll upload on to there what's coming um on the the poll it was um what you would like to obviously see the top one that came back on that was uh what modifications i've got on the fiesta so this fiesta as i said in the in yesterday's video was a little bit wrong it's just over a year that i've had it because uh, it was a year ago to that i actually got the car back from the garage that went from when i had the front bumper done so i had that completely smooth because it had all the gray um plastics which obviously uh, for me personally i absolutely hate them just because they look horrible and um, they should have done it gloss black from from factory it just it just makes the the front end of the car look so much cleaner um obviously i've had my bumper smoothed so the the number plate recess is obviously not there um i've got my number plate on a little bracket that just put that i just pop into the um into the the honeycomb grill at the at the front so as you can see now obviously i've just got out of the car so i'll just go through the uh the front side of the car and then um, i'll just show you the the smooth front bumper and how it looks much different compared to, to previous so as you can see here, like I say, it's all uh, all smooth there. Um, obviously the the grills there are obviously gloss black, and and you can tell there. Obviously normally the uh, the number plate would sit here. So obviously I've had that all filled, smoothed, and painted. So obviously moving on from there, then the um, the the next bit that obviously I like, um, which is obviously not many people do because you can obviously get the the full kit. So I've here obviously cars filled for getting so I've been out, <coughs> but. Uh, Here's obviously just your, your standard diffuser um, and what I've done is just got four um, just fins that I bought off eBay or Facebook, I can't remember exactly. Um, and obviously just painted them up, screwed them in so no one can nick them. Then following that obviously took the uh, the wiper out and obviously gone for the killer wipers um, wiper delete. So moving on from that then, the, the next mod would obviously be on the inside of the car. Uh, this one here is obviously a, a grip royal steering wheel which I got uh, for my birthday last year and um, managed to persuade my mum and uh and missus to obviously donate some money instead of getting like clothes or anything like that and then obviously i just put in the the rest of it so i got a polished steering wheel and i'll just show you that one now so i got this through wheel power um up in torquay i've got a, a few things obviously i've bought a couple of sets of different wheels from them um, and ray's partner deals with the the grip raw uk side of things so i'll leave a link in the description to their website highly recommend checking them out and um, also you can see my my airlift controller there as well and um, yes this car is obviously on airlift three-piece suspension so yeah as you've just saw there then obviously the the car itself is on airlift suspension um originally obviously i had the the air on my silver fiesta i will insert a quick picture here cinematic that you've just seen there that was by a good pal of mine luke Bourne. and um, he's also got a youtube channel uh, really good obviously at the moment doing a lot of car content with his clear and also he works with chris down at global motors so i'll definitely link his uh youtube here and i'll put his uh, youtube in the bio as well 
So back to the air ride then. That was all installed by Harley down at Shedworks in Cornwall. He, he literally is the goat when it comes down to, to air, greatest of all time. I'll always recommend him to anyone asking for installs or if anyone needs any boot builds or, or things like that. His ideas and creativity that comes from, from him is it's just mental. So yeah, as you just saw there, obviously that was my uh, my old silver car. That one was definitely different with the the Paisley wing. Obviously, everyone took the mick out of it with regards to you know weather spoons plate and everything like that. The amount of times I got jipped for that was I had a quid for every time someone said that I'd probably be a millionaire. Like literally, all the time I was getting jipped for it. But at the end of the day, they say I've built the car for me. The same with this one. Obviously, I've got the the floral design. The reason I've got that is I've built it for me. Believe it or not, shout out mum because that was your old holiday dress not anymore so what i'll do next is we'll just go into the uh into the boot there i'll um walk you around and we'll uh, we'll see what we can see of the, the audio so you can see there i've got it all lit up it's not put in perfectly yet because obviously we haven't had show season so i've only just wired it up i need to wire it and hide the <coughs> hide the leds a bit better but uh, let's go and have a look so as you can see like i say it's starting to get a bit dark now so the the lighting levels inside the car aren't, aren't the greatest at the moment but uh so you've got the LED strip light which I found in the garage and um, probably for I was going to do something with my old car. I've got a four gallon air tank with um, hard lines. It's just got a, uh, if you can get a, make a go of it, you've just got a Shadwick sticker on there. That bit there is obviously blue as well. Um, all the tank, uh, sorry, all the management and line and compressor is all underneath the, the false floor here. And um, so I've got my subwoofer there, I've got some 6x9s there and there. Originally I did have a, a bit above that, um, however she recently got rid of that when we did the, the install for when it was done properly. Because, I'll just show you over here, behind the not broken, oi oi, if you know you know. Um, and there's some speakers just down here as well. Excuse the mess, but obviously I've got speaker behind the seat, speaker behind that uh, the, the passenger seat, and obviously I've got my out, which I need to tidy all the wires away. So the the other part of the the mod, like I say, that um, I do like is the the USDM um, indicator bulb. So obviously where the you see on a lot of German cars, they stay on permanently. I've got mine wired to a switch so that I can have them on when I want them on. Put them into OEM mode, so it'll just flash obviously with the you know with the normal indicator so I literally just push the uh, the switch here so I've just got a little switch there pop that one forward when you get to like a, a meet or something or if I'm just out on the on the road and I'll just um, come around the, the front and then bada boom so looks uh, looks quite sick and obviously just Makes the front, in my opinion, just look a bit more evil, to be fair. You know, just USDMs with no side lights on. Um, I should have taken the number plate off, as you can see there. Front ends look much better with no number plate. Wish that was a law down here like it is in the States, but unfortunately we can't, can't win everything. So that's really it for, for this video. Obviously, I'd like to thank you all for, for joining on there. Uh, on my, my second stage video, hope you like this one. Again, like I say, if there's anything else that you wanna see, drop a comment below. And then um, finally, obviously for, for more content, like the video, subscribe to, uh, to my channel, and again, support your boy. Bye.